Okay. Right, so I'm just going to demonstrate uh, a new script I've been working on over the weekend. Um, this is um, a Dota 2 character downloader. Um, I'm not actually a fan of the game Dota 2, but I am a fan of the, um, the models you can get uh, from those guys. And um, essentially, they've been... Um, having their models and all other assets available through, of course, the um, Steam Workshop. And you can make items and whatnot for the characters. And I think you can sell them, if I believe, if I'm correct. Uh, but essentially, you just go to their website and you can uh, see all the different characters. They've got there quite an extensive amount. Um, and essentially, you just click on them one at a time, gives you a bit of a bio and you can uh, download the model like so. So um, I thought I could uh, actually write a script to do all of this to um, scrape the website uh, and uh, grab some basic information like the bio, the uh, character avatar, and of course download the zip archive that contains um, the Maya ASCII and sometimes FBX files. Um, so it's a bit of a interesting little project for a weekend. So um, let's have a look at it. So uh, you can, of course, uh, load the script um, through uh, Maya's script editor. Uh, I've got that open just here. Oops. And um, you can execute it from here, of course, and it'll run no problem. Uh, this is basically it here. Cool. Um, it's a dockable um, uh, widget. You can dock wherever you like in the particular viewport. Um, you can close that down actually. You can actually launch it through uh, PyCharm, which is the IDE I use typically. Uh, just a quick look through of what some of the uh, key areas are so uh, just looking into the uh, libraries that have got imported um, uh, I am using PySide 2 uh, for the QT uh, libraries um, I've been experimenting with this um, wrapper here which uh, helps um, fix some of the compatibility issues between the newer and older uh, versions, especially when may have changed from 2016, 2017, uh, 2018 up, of course. Um, so for, in particular on this on this script, it's using Beautiful Soup uh, for um, scraping the website. So if you want to try it out, you'll just have to um, uh, pip install uh, Beautiful Soup or BS4. Um, just mind you, get the one that's compatible with uh, Python 2.7. So all of the other uh, libraries or modules are uh, basically already uh, included in standard Python, um, or at least with the the Py Maya Py, uh, Maya Py or Maya Python uh, interpreter. Uh, so you can get away with most of that in there anyway. So um, simple. Uh, pointer to the website. I've got a Max Hero download uh, at this stage. Now this is ex sort of my first uh, prototype of this particular um, script. So uh, I just want to restrict the number of heroes it downloads so it doesn't uh, um, take too long. So um, anyway, I'm just going to run this. Alt-A, flick over to Maya, and it's up and running. So um, pretty straightforward. I'm just going to zoom in a bit here. No, you can zoom. There we go. Um, okay, cool. So uh, essentially, there's a couple of things you need to set up. So uh, target path uh, is basically where you want all of the downloads to go. So it's going to be like your working directory. And uh, essentially, it uh, you just click on that, open a um, folder di dialog, and just going to browse to a directory, Dota 2, and hit save. And that's cool. So it's scraping or it's just retrieving the um, projects directory uh, for Maya. And I'm just uh, 
um, slicing off the actual default project that it's set to. But this will just scrape whatever project you got set at the particular point in time. So you might want to um, click on that. If it's even going to work. Oop. Oh, there we go. Just like a little bit of a delay. Uh, but you can change the directory you want the um, the actual unpack of that archive uh, to go into a project. Um, it's not specifically using Maya's project system. I'm just uh, unpacking the archives as is. Um, but here you can see uh, that, uh, oh, that's why it was delayed for a second because it was actually um, downloading all the characters. So it's parsed all the characters in and it has uh, put them into a grid layout here. And you can click on each one of the the heroes and it will just give you the bio which has been scraped as well so um, and some buttons here for what to do next so the character is not actually downloaded only the um, the app pictures or the avatar image and you can click on each one of the images to get a little bit of a uh, the bio so this has been scraped directly from the website um, so when this has been scraped once, um, I'm writing some of the information out to uh, CSV files which are uh, stored in the uh, directory or target directory and uh, we'll just basically load those in each each time you open this up. So uh, it's just checking um, to see if you've already done this process. Um, right, so for example, if you want to look at the uh, uh, Abaddon character, you just click on the download character and we'll have um, a short delay and then it should finish and my internet's been a bit slow today come on and okay yeah it's really slow right now that's only about a 30 meg file so it's not too fast right now and uh, essentially it just highlights the image in uh, orange um, so that sort of means that yeah we're sort of halfway through so you can see which ones you've downloaded um, but the next step you would be to is extract uh, the character which is just using the zip um, uh, library and that's been unzipped so it's been changed to a green character so then I can just hit uh, load in Maya and it will load that character so you can just check it out uh, so my dock that over here cool um, so I can look at another character uh, so you could do the um, ancient apparition and it's mostly the same process so uh, things to do I want to put in a um, uh, obviously a progress bar for the download um, and it's supposed to be threaded but uh, it's not really working as a background process so it uh, does freeze up the interface for a while so one of the things I've done in the past is just try to download the entire lot at the same time but there's a hundred characters or something so that's not really going to be an option um, so extract that character and then I can load that character and check that one out as well. So that's pretty cool. So it's um, keeping a working directory with all of the zip archives in it. Um, uh, but uh, each time you extract the character, it places it into the predefined project path. Uh, so you can go in there and pick up it again whenever you like to. And it's just load that one. Okay, so just going back to the script. Uh, uh, just essentially some variable setup at the beginning, um, some functions uh, around listing some files, um, a function for uh, downloading uh, from the website uh, using URL retrieve. Um, experimenting with a, a new doc window um, implementation, uh, Jason Parks. Uh, had a good write-up about it um, that uh, works pretty well and it handles um, the window instance 
uh, and dockable at least window instance and you can easily uh, add and remove these window instances um, haven't had too many problems with the implementation it seems to work quite well um, so this is getting a uh, pointer to the main window um, uh, so then you can create um, a QT widget main, Q main window widget which then we can place all of the um, UI within um, so yeah it's pretty standard sort of stuff for a uh, um, the QT window. Um, you basically start creating the different widgets that you are wanting to place within your layout. And here, for example, I have um, uh, obviously I've got uh, a couple of vertical and horizontal layouts. I have uh, some scroll scrollable area uh, layouts with some of the labels which are displaying um, the text here. Uh, and of course a grid layout here uh, at the bottom um, it's a bit of tweaking it's not quite scrolling correctly um, so it's a bit of a bit of a problem uh, but uh, essentially it all works quite well so uh, in here obviously that's sort of layout for that uh, for displaying uh, here you got it how you just uh, adding the widgets to the main uh, window um, some other functions uh, set in the project directory so uh, this is basically uh, some of the buttons uh, have a uh, lambda uh, lambda sort of um, basically throw a command and just send through a reference to itself uh, so we can do a set project directory so it's basically setting up and uh, updating the status bar at the bottom as well so you can see what's going on uh, but here we go we're just setting the text on that particular uh, button is clicked so you can actually see that being updated uh, set output path um, same thing uh, but this one is trying to load the previous CSV files which were written in the first instance if it's not it just passes um, and uh, just updates it from red to green and so on and so forth and then gets through that and then goes to run a function called add characters um, add characters. Um, it's a bit of a hack at the moment. If it finds some vials, it uh, basically uh, won't download those particular characters anymore. So it's pretty much a run once at the moment. I've got to figure out how to uh, make that um, download missing uh, characters. So that's in a later version. Uh, but essentially, what this is is it's um, uh, where are we? Okay, so we're retrieving URL, so we're self parse heroes. Um, I'll come back to the oh I can go back to it now. Um where's parse heroes? Do, do, do. Okay, parse heroes. So this is where we're using the beautiful soup. Uh, and we are basically um, looking for uh div elements with um uh, the hero status block class and uh, that gives us most the, the hero sort of section of that particular page uh, or development at least and then what I can do is I can go for um, uh, iron hero enumerate heroes and then dig a, further, a little bit further into each one so I'm looking for um, the image URL and also looking for the um, uh, href to go into um, another uh, scrape which is the actual uh, next uh, page that you click on on the web site to take you into the actual hero so we can look for scraping the um, the section that contains the law or the bio and also finding um, the URL for the actual archive download so we're sort of uh, going through that for as many heroes as there are on the original page which is quite a lot and um, uh, essentially uh, just stripping some, doing some string formatting here and stripping out the actual bio and uh, I'll break once I hit the max heroes which is 60 at this stage and then I'll write the CSV files uh, for that then return uh, um, basically those um, uh, lists and yeah that's that's kind of cool um, do -do -do, it's back in the add characters whoops and this is where I will um, 
populate a uh, grid with uh, grid layout with um, uh, Q push buttons, um, and for as many as there are in that particular um, list of characters, and just basically show it uh, on the screen. I'm in the bottom of this. Where are we? Yeah, so you'll see them in here. Um, yeah, so uh, as you sort of go through the UI, there's an update UI section, which is just basically changing some of the colors around and making some of the buttons grayed and grayed out as you go along. And uh, there is uh, image clicked, which allows you to update and show the correct bio at the top here. So as you flick through it, that's basically updating that. Um, we have a uh, download character option here. So this is the when you select the download option, it will fire off this process and grab that particular character. Uh, some separated into different workflows. So then it will be a extractor project, which is just uh, using zip file to extract those files and creating some uh, directories uh, in that project path. And of course the load mayor option um, now this is set up specifically for an assumption that the archive contains the same um, folder structure uh, in each individual uh, download, but in fact it doesn't. Um, the, I've just sort of realized that the archives have been set up in various different ways um, and some don't work properly. Uh, at this stage I've just got to go in there and see if I can look at all the different cases, but um, yeah, most of them work okay. Some of them don't load correctly. Sometimes there are archives inside of archives, so I'm not I'm not uh, handling those exceptions at this stage. Um, but uh, essentially, what it does is when it does find a Maharaski, um it uh, will basically uh, launch and load that in your viewport. Um, basically, uh, get in the panel and just uh, turning on the textures because the default most of them switched off and just uh, zoom in to fit uh, that particular one. Um, yeah, so it's the basic uh, tool. Um, so it's working reasonably well. Um, but again, as I say, I just need a progress bar for the download because uh, it uh, definitely needs it when the internet is as slow as it is right now. Just see if that works. There we go. Extract the character and load that character and there we go um, so that's kind of cool that's uh, my Dota 2 viewer um, uh, and uh, yeah as I say it's a prototype and uh, yeah version 2 will be a lot better cool thank you